At this point, I'm 46. I'll be 47 this year. I have more birthdays behind me than I have ahead. I've survived being shot, watched my brother die, mother on drugs twice, in foster care. Um, I've had great careers. I've lost them. Uh, I started my own business and struggled all the way through uh, the lessons uh, to get into where I am now. And I am proud to be everything I am and everything I've gone through. Uh, I've been in love with some of the most beautiful men and some of them have been great lovers. Some of them have robbed me um, of literal property. Shout out to Cardi B who got me my first uh, Cuban link, by the way, and some from Houston stole it. But look, I am who I am. And now I'm running for office and the people that are like, because most people are supporting me and believe in me and, they, you know, they hear from me in my whole city. Shout out to Stockton, California. You know, they love me because they know what it is, you know. But the people that are judging me are literally people judging me through, from a glass house. Mm. There's no perfect person in the world. Uh, and the person that I know that I read about that was perfect, they hung him up on a cross for everybody else to watch. So I don't live to be anything but happy. I'm going to live happy. I'm going to die happy. I'm going to, my tombstone will say this did everything he wanted to do. Mm. Period. In spite of it all. Exclamation point. Underline bold. Might Italicized. Even, might even have a gay flag somewhere in small print because that doesn't define me either. Yeah, I live out my truth. And, you know, I think it's made me win a lot of things, but I've also lost a lot of things. But when I think about what I've lost or not gained as a result of being who I am, those are things that God didn't want me to have. It, hey. So I'm good with that.